On Wednesday, President Donald Trump announced that he had revoked the security clearance of former CIA Director John Brennan, saying, As the head of the executive branch and commander-in-chief, I have a unique constitutional responsibility to protect the nation's classified information, including by controlling access to it. While Trump painted the decision as an inevitable move made in the interest of national security, the Power of his statement was blunted by his own press release, which was dated July 26. The backdate seemed to suggest that the president planned to pull Brennan's clearance last month, but the White House only released the statement at a time when they are embattled with rumors spurned from excerpts of the tell-all book that former staffer, Omarosa Manigault Newman, is preparing to release. The date on President Trump's statement about revoking John Brennan's security clearance. July 26, three weeks ago. I guess it's just a coincidence that the White House decided to announce this as they struggle to deal with the fallout from Omarosa's book. Fic.twitter.com slash c 6 tvfm 90 Caitlin Collins, at Caitlin Collins, August 15, 2018 Shortly after they sent out the first statement, the White House released a second, identical statement that was undated. However, 1600 Penn was rather shoddy about their messaging on the slip-up, with one official telling CNN, it's a mistake, and another telling The Hill, today is the date of the revocation. As IJR reported, Trump first threatened to revoke the security clearances of Brennan and other Obama-era officials on July 23. Press Secretary Sarah Sanders accused the former officials of politicizing agencies and departments that are specifically meant to not be political. Other names on that list include former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper, former Deputy FBI Director Andrew McCabe, former FBI Director James Comey, and many others. In response to the White House's move, Brennan tweeted that he will not relent. This action is part of a broader effort by Mr. Trump to suppress freedom of speech. It should gravely worry all Americans, including intelligence professionals, about the cost of speaking out. My principles are worth far more than clearances. I will not relent. HTTPS colon slash slash t dot co slash ten zox nine ux John O. Brennan, at John Brennan, August 15, 2018 Unfortunately for Trump, Manigault Newman's book is likely to continue to hold the news cycle. Most recently, she has claimed that a tape exists in which Trump uses the N-word, 